to an incredible partner um, and an incredible friend and an incredible man, Hugh Dancy. Uh, thank you so much. To my family and my friends and my parents who are sitting here tonight with me. Ew, I might not do this again, hold on. You have done more for me than anybody. I love you so much. I have a week left with Vonda and I'm gonna cherish every minute of it. Thank you so much. I move over here because I get dizzy, dizzy stage left. <laughs> the best performance by a leading actress in a musical are Jan Maxwell in Follies, <laughs> Audra McDonald the Gershman's Poor <laughs> Kristen Migliotti in Once, Kelly O'Hara in Nice Work If You Can Get It. <laughs> Laura Orsnes in Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> and the American Theatre Wing's Tony goes to Audra McDonald. <laughs> another four Tony Awards in the Featured Actress category. Tonight, Audra McDonald wins her first as a leading actress. girl with a pot belly and afro puffs hyperactive and overdramatic and I found the theater and I found my home and I found a place to express myself and I was so grateful even at the age of nine and to think that the theater would be so good to me is, is mind-blowing I'm so grateful to be a part of this company. Corgi and Bess, um, Diane, Paulus, and Jeffrey, and, and Rebecca, and Jerry, for bringing the show to us. To be in love with Norm Lewis every night, to get raped by Philip Boykin every night, and just snort drugs with David Allen Greer every night. And the entire company, they are filled with light and soul and spirit, they move me. Um, I wanna thank my family. I wanna thank the man I'm gonna marry, Will Swinson, for telling me to do this. I'm so glad I listened to you. I wanna thank my wee posse of three. And Zoe, my sweet little girl, I want you to know something. This is an amazing night for mommy. But February 14th, 2001, the day you were born, is the best night ever. Never forget that. I love you. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Please welcome last year's winners of multiple Tonys for the Book of Mormon, Trey Parker and Matt Stone. Winning the Tony Award for Best Musical changes one's life forever. You're transformed from an artist to an artiste, from a child to an adult, from a lowly caterpillar to a beautiful butterfly. Tonight, we who are the Broadway establishment <laughs> are pleased and honored to welcome this year's nominees for Best Musical. You young whippersnappers who so desperately seek to join our ranks.
Tonight we've seen performances from all the nominees for Best Musical. Once again, the nominees are Leap of Faith, Newsies, Nice Work If You Can Get It, And the Tony Award goes to once. Accepting the award for once, producer Frederick Zolo. Isn't it great that Book of Mormon has won it? No, I guess not. On behalf of Barbara Broccoli, John Hart, Patrick Milling Smith, Brian Carmody, Michael Wilson, Orrin Wolf, the Schuberts, New York Theatre Workshop ART, and Robert Cole, we thank you for this great honor. We thank Glenn Hansard and Marquetta for their incredible score, John Carney for the film. The creative team you have honored tonight, boy are they good, and how about that company led by Messrs. Kazee and Milioti and Elizabeth A. Davis. There's a story that um, Harold Clerman used to tell, and it goes something like this. Once upon a time in Tsarist Russia, there was a wealthy family with many children. The mother was quite ill, the children were weeping. To comfort them, the nanny gathered them in her arms and told them not to worry. She knew an old elixir, she said, and if you put a drop of the elixir on your tongue, you would never be ill, and if you drank some, you would never die. She said the name of this elixir was the theater. This story changed the life of one of those children forever, Konstantin Stanislavski. All of us who work in the theater have drunk from that elixir and had our lives change. And we're proud to say that once serves it up every night at the Jacobs Theater. And if you like, you can wash it down with a cold beer. Thank you, thank you all. Congratulations to all our winners. I usually close the show with a song, but I've just been told we're running over, which is a shame because, uh, I don't know, uh, it was a good one. But if I had time, I'd sing a little song recapping these awards, a jazzy ditty set to introspective chords, with lyrics that would cite who won and lost tonight, with jokes we'd have to write mid-show. They'd all be on topic, and each one would rhyme. But there's no time. If I had time, I'd say how once, one, once, one, twice, then once, one more. In fact, it pretty much won everything but score. Thanks, doll. How Clyburn Park took play. We made you Jackman's day. Is Hardy Firestein gay? Who knows? Then joke that Mike Nichols had just earned his dime. But there's no time. I mentioned Judith and Judy and Tracy as Judy. And Audra, I know what a shock. Ferris with flappers and Christians kidnappers and Christians who roll with the flock. Oh, jeez, did those Jesuses rock? Oh, what a cry that due to certain people's speeches running long, you'll never get a chance to hear my clever song. Although I could ask less, the head of CBS, pay less, do you say yes or no? The network has spoken, it's telling me I'm completely out. Oh. And we are clear. Thank you, everyone. That's a wrap. <laughs>